Hi, I'm Ilan Goldstein, and you're watching the Scrum Shortcut series. In this video, we will be focusing on daily Scrum tips. Now ask anyone in the sales department what Scrum is, and apart from mentioning the colorful sticky note decorated task board, they will more than likely mention the daily Scrum, also known as the team stand-up. The daily Scrum is the regular pulse of the team. A pulse needs to be steady, consistent and lively to remain healthy. And this shortcut gives you a few tips to help ensure that these sessions keep humming along like clockwork. First things first, I highly recommend that the daily scrum be conducted as a stand up rather than a sit down. It is a subtle yet important distinction. The simple act of standing provides the team with a sense of liveliness to help kickstart the day. And it also ensures that the session stays short and sharp to prevent aching legs. I'm not a believer in imposing the time of the daily scrum on the team. The time should be decided as a group. However, you should encourage everyone to commit to a time that works best for them that is as early as possible in the day. Of course, if your team is disparately located, then your daily scrum time will need to accommodate the various time zones. Once there is an agreed upon time, you can start to reinforce some guidelines. Here are just a couple that I'm a fan of. The daily scrum should start on the dot, irrespective of who is late. Your daily scrum should look like a nice tight circle or semicircle around the task board rather than a messy blob. What should be covered? The typical questions that each developer answers during the daily scrum are, what did I achieve yesterday? What do I hope to achieve today? Do I have any impediments or blocks? Although these questions seem straightforward, I have a few specific tips to make your daily scrums more effective. First, everyone should reference the tasks on the task board when discussing what they achieved and what they hope to achieve. This way you ensure that the task board is up to date. In reality, it should take each team member only about 30 seconds to run through the three questions. However, the problem is that at least a couple of updates every day will typically spawn spin-off discussions that can drag the entire team into a black hole of debate. It is very easy for a daily scrum to get hijacked by implementation detail. So I highly recommend that whenever you get a whiff of tangential discussion, jump in and say offline. Or if you want to be more subtle, slowly start raising your hand. What you are communicating with this prompt is the following. I know that this is an important discussion, but let's get through all of the updates. And then at the end, anyone who is required to participate in the discussion can hang back. Your project may include multiple parallel scrum teams that share common interfaces. A popular option in this situation is to run a Scrum of Scrum stand-up, which is an additional stand-up with a representative or two from each team. This is a good option, but I also like the use of stand-up ambassadors who act as observers in the other groups to pick up on any potential contention and or lessons. This way, additional context can be garnered. These ambassadors are typically the more senior developers in each of the groups. If you adopt this approach, it is important to stagger the kickoff times of each team's daily scrum so that the ambassadors can attend. I like the way Ken Schwaber puts it when he states that the daily scrum is supposed to be an opportunity for the group to briefly socialize and synchronize. It is not a roll call or micromanagement session where the team reports into the Scrum Master and or the product owner. I often find that some team members get into the habit of directing their update to the Scrum Master only. If you notice a team member addressing the Scrum Master without making eye contact with anyone else, a tip is to start slowly turning around or looking up at the ceiling. I found that the habit is quickly broken with this physical cue. I recommend that before the daily scrum formalities begin, encourage, but certainly don't contrive, any light banter and joking around. It's always nice to start the day on a positive note feeling energized instead of feeling like you're at a military roll call. Also, while the daily scrum can certainly flow in a stock standard direction, 
I like to keep everyone on their toes by utilizing some sort of randomizer. For example, you can use a small soccer ball that gets passed around from team member to team member in any order. Anyone who isn't listening, or is a terrible soccer player, will get a little embarrassed as the ball slips through his or her legs. I see a bright future for the daily scrum. Along with the task board, it is a popular scrum element that I'm already seeing cross the chasm into non-software related teams to great effect. Even the mainstream Wall Street Journal has reported on its growing popularity. The daily scrum is a simple concept, but without care, it can quickly turn into a daily mess. So try out some of these mess mitigating tips and never forget Conway's law. Organizations which design systems are constrained to produce designs which are copies of the communication structures of these organizations. And that's it for daily scrum tips. I'll see you in the next video for another scrum shortcut.